Hey guys, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your PlayStation 4 to system software version 1.61. As you can see in the corner over there, it says that it's already there. So we're going to go up here, go to your notifications, and as always, we're going to be installing this over Wi-Fi. So if you, as you can see, there are a number of things happening. It's updating some of my previous games. Um, here's system software version 1.61, so let's click it and see what's in it. View details. Oops, let's go back. System software. And we're going to view the details. So it doesn't look like there's really much. This looks like it's a packaged bundle with the 1.60 update. If you didn't get that, um, picture quality during DVD playback has been improved, yada yada yada. Only new thing is really system software stability during use of some features has been improved. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click back and click next and update. So I'm not sure what just happened. Uh, it went to do the update and tried to restart but it just stayed at a black screen for a very long time so I tried to power it off but my PS4 light was a glowing blue and I couldn't do that so I had to manually pull out the plug and pop it back in restart and we're gonna see what happens now because it's going into safe mode using the USB cable and then press the PS button so I'm gonna try to do that and then we're gonna try to restart the PS4 and see what happens. Okay, PS4 is rebooting. It says it's now in the safe mode. We will see if this actually applied the system firmware 1.61. Uh, if it didn't, that'll be troublesome. So, I've got my PlayStation controller. Logging in. Take a look at the notifications. And it looks like it installed. So just double check. We're going to go over here to settings. Okay. We're going to go down here to system information. And we're going to hit system information. And as you can see, it says system software 1.61. So just letting you know if you have any issues. Uh, on a black screen after it tries to restart but fails to restart uh, just wait a little bit be a little patient and uh, it really doesn't restart then uh, power off your PS4 by pressing the button and if that doesn't work um, you might have to unplug it from the outlet the power supply and then wait 10 seconds for good measure and then plug it back in and see what happens probably boot into safe mode and perform what I just did anyway uh, if you like this video, add to your favorites, give it a thumbs up, share it to Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.